Hello, thank you for watching my video. Today we'll move on to lesson 10, configuring VPN and routing, part of the section 3.0, configuring network services and access, exam 7411, Microsoft, by me, Astrid Krasnici. Okay, on this lesson we'll talk what is NAT, then what is VPN, VPN tunneling protocols, types of authentication methods, then we'll cover configuration requirements, DHCP relay agent, then we'll talk what is split tunneling, then I'll do demonstrations, I will do demonstration as we go on. Okay, what is NAT? Network address translation. Okay, here we have public network, i.e. internet or the cloud, and on this side we have a private network or um, local area network. Here we have a few. Uh, one, we have a server, two computers, and two laptops. This server will use it as a router. So, this computer or laptop has got an IP address 10.1.1.10, subnet mask 255.255.255.0, and gateway is 10.1.1.1, which is this interface of the server. That's the IP address here. This server's got IP address, a local IP address for LAN 10.1.1.1, private, and then a public ad IP address as well 95.100.128.170. Okay, now when this client machine wants to communicate with the server outside on the public network, i.e., in this case bbc.co.uk, www.bbc.co.uk with address 212.58.246.93 Now, this client machine will create a layer 3, a packet with layer 3 source and layer 3 destination. Layer 3 source it will do itself as 10.1.1.10 and layer 3 destination is BBC's IP address. This packet will make it ready let's, and uh, send it to its gateway. Now his gateway, what it's going to do is going to do a network address translation because we have a private IP address here, we can't send it to the public network. So we have to translate that private IP address to a public IP address. So that's what our gateway will do, will translate addresses. So layer three source, it will take that off, remove it and add its own IP address, its own public IP address as the source. And it will forward that to the BBC. Now this is what happens with pretty much every most of the networks or local area network. So it will send it to the BBC. Now BBC will receive that packet and it will see the source as that IP address. It will not know which computer inside this private network has sent the IP address. It will not know that this private network does exist. All it sees the packet is coming from that interface. Okay? So what is gonna do? The BBC is gonna when it replies. He puts itself as a source and destination that IP address. And it will send the packet forward. And then our gateway will remove the layer 3 destination itself. It will look in its database and it will find that it's coming from this PC and it will add the, piece, the laptop's uh, IP address as a destination and it will give it forwarded to the laptop. Now, as far as the laptop is concerned, that was a clean communication with a BBC server, um, that's it. If seen it, it can communicate. But in between, we had a network address translation doing um, this uh, router here. Now, network address translation is good because we can use a private networks on our, net on our network here, private IP addresses on our network, but our neighbors, they can have the same private IP addresses as well, 10.1.1. They're not going to collide on the internet because they're not going to be routed towards the internet. Any router on the internet is just going to drop any private IP addresses. Okay, if you remember the private IP address space are defined in RFC 1918, internal address range, and we have classes. Class A is from 10.0.0.0 all the way to 10.255.255.255. Then we have class B. It's from 172.16.0.0 all the way to 172.31.255.255. And then class C, we have 192.168.0.0 all the 
all the way to 192.168.255.255. That's most used is this address, 192.168. Uh, most used as private IP addresses. But we have available class A and class B range as well, if you want. So just to recap, we have a public network on this site with a public IP address and a private network with a private IP address. So we have class A, class B, and class C. In this case, we have used class A private IP address. The private IP addresses are not allowed on the public network. You can configure this router to send them, but the neighbor router is going to drop every router on the internet. It's configured to block and drop these IP addresses from this range. Need for IPv4, we have a IPv4 address space is not big enough to uniquely address all the devices that must be connected to the internet. Because all the devices on the internet, they need a unique IP address. Now, IPv4 address space is not enough. We just have just over 4 billion IP addresses with version 4. Now, that's not enough. So, if we use NAT, we still cope in with the NAT. Network private addresses are described in RFC 1918 and are designed to be used within an organization or site only, within. So, which means the second organization, neighboring organization can use the same IP addresses as you are using because they're private and they're not gonna collide in the internet. Private addresses are not routed by internet routers while public addresses are. NAT enables private IP networks that use non-registered IP version 4 addresses to connect to the internet. Usually, NAT connects two networks and translates the private inside addresses to the, in the internet, internal network into public outside addresses before packets are forward to another network. So, NAT connects two networks, translate addresses from one type to another type. Could be from inside to outside, inside to different inside and so on. All it does is translating the IP addresses. Okay, what about VPN? VPN, we have the addresses private network here and the public network on this side, the same what we had earlier. Now, this client machine or this laptop here will be able to communicate while it's connected on the network here, will be able to communicate fine with all these machines, will be able to access all the shares, will be able to remote desktop to any of these computers, not a problem whatsoever. But when the client machine moves, takes the laptop and goes away and sits down in the cafe, it will not be able to access any of these uh, machines here because this is a private network. It's pretty much hidden. So nothing from outside should be able to see this private network or know what IP addresses we are using. So this client machine, when it sits at that cafe, it will get an IP address. Now, I've just taken this IP address, I just invented from my head, so it could be any IP address, any public IP address, while it's sitting on the cafe. Now, when he tries to ping any of these PCs, for example, inside here, it's not going uh, to be successful at all, because this is a private network and it's pretty much hidden from internet. But the VPN, now, we have to create a VPN server. Well, our public machines, they're going to communicate with it. The VPN server that we have to create, it has to have two interfaces. One interface that has internal network, it's connected to the internal network, or network interface card, I should say, NIC, and one NIC that is connected to outside world, or external network. This is this interface we're going to connect, or we, uh, with a public IP address, we're going to communicate with. Now, we need to create a tunnel, so all our data that we send to our network inside this private network, it will be encrypted. So in that tunnel. So it's called a tunnel because we are accessing the public network, which is internet, and we are accessing and we send in a sensitive data. So all that data will have to be encrypted. So if anyone from the internet sees that packet or uh, reads that packet, it won't be able to make sense because it will be everything will be encrypted. So we have to authenticate with our server. We send an authentication packet to the VPN. Now VPN will be able to uh, authenticate us. It can do itself. It can, we can use a Windows server to authenticate us. We can use a radio server, a different server for authentication. One way or another is going to see whether we allowed to go to this private network or not. 